Welcome to the video demonstration of Big Cloud Fabric and Layer 4 to 7 service integration with OpenStack. This demo has two parts. First, I would show how BCF integration with OpenStack Neutron networking project to build self-service model to the application developers in terms of provisioning physical fabric dynamically as and when OpenStack user creates the project, network and instances. Secondly, I will show how OpenStack Load Balancer as a service module used to automate the configuration of the physical and virtual load balancer as and when tenants enable the load balancer service on the OpenStack for their deployments. To showcase this, I plan to deploy my web application as a Project Blue admin using OpenStack Horizon dashboard. The application has two segments, one for web server and the other for web client interconnected through the tenant router. As Project Blue Admin configures these segments, routers and the virtual machines, Big Cloud Fabric gets configured dynamically using Neutron ML2 plugin. Let's look at it. This is Big Cloud Fabric controller web interface. This is Fabric View, which shows the topology used for the demo. Let's go to the tenant tab to see the configured tenants. As you see, Currently, we have only one tenant, which is a tenant created for OpenStack admin tenant for external connectivity. This is the OpenStack Horizon dashboard, logged in as tenant or project blue admin. As you can see, there are no network configured for the blue tenant. Now, let me create a network in blue project for the web server with IP subnet of 10 dot hundred dot one dot zero slash twenty four. Let me create second network for web clients with IP subnet of ten dot hundred dot two dot zero slash twenty four. Both the networks got created. Let's have the compute instance on each of these networks. Click on the compute then instance tab to launch instances. First instance would be web server dash one and have web server as the network for this instance. Create second instance web server dash two. Again have the web server as the network for this instance. And have a third instance for web client. This one will have web client as the network. All three instances have been created with the IP address in the given subnet assigned for the respective network. Web servers have IP of 10.100.1.6 and 7. Web client has the IP of 10.100.2.2. Now we add router to interconnect these two networks. Call it tenant blue router. Now if you go back to BCF controller and you refresh the tenant view, it shows the tenant blue configuration just created on OpenStack Horizon by the tenant blue admin. This is done dynamically through the ML2 plugin. No manual configuration involved on BCF. Clicking on the tenant provides additional details. It shows two networks created on OpenStack web server and web client. BCF GUI also provides the logical topology. The endpoint tab will show all the learned endpoints for the virtual machine created on the OpenStack. This is the first part of the demo to show how BCF integrates with the OpenStack Neutron to automate the OpenStack tenant workflow to configure physical fabric. Next, let me show the workflow automation for inserting layer 4 through 7 service a load balancer to the web application we just deployed. Before going into the demo, 
what I have done as a pre-demo setup is, as shown on the right, I have connected the physical load balancer to the BCF fabric. And I have configured lag or port group on BCF towards the load balancer appliance. And on OpenStack side, I have enabled the load balancer as a service. And I installed the LBAS driver to talk to the load balancer appliance. This is the one-time workflow as a provider of the load balancer service need to do. Once you have this setup, OpenStack tenant user can use this service to deploy automatically the load balancer service for their application from OpenStack Horizon dashboard. So to showcase the tenant specific workflow, I'll be adding load balancer service to the web servers we just deployed, which involves three simple config. Define pool, define member to the pool, and finally define virtual IP VIP for the pool, which will be used to load balance the traffic across different members. To configure load balancer service, tenant admin has to go to OpenStack Horizon project tab then Network tab, then Load Balancer tab. Before configuring the service, let's look at the Load Balancer Appliance web interface for the existing config. As you see, there is no configuration on the Load Balancer Appliance. Now to define Load Balancer service, tenant admin need to define pool to start with. Let's call it Blue Web Pool in the web server network subnet. Select the protocol and load balancing method for the pool. Next define members to the pool. Select defined pool and members in this case web server 1 and 2. Select protocol and port for the service. Last step in the load balancer config is to configure VIP, virtual IP. Provide virtual IP name. Select subnet. And specify virtual IP. In this case, 10.100.1.100. Select protocol and port. HTTP and port 80. This completes the load balancer config. Click on the pool name which summarizes the config. Make a note of project ID which is used for creating tenant on the load balancer appliance for the given project. Let's go to the load balancer appliance web interface. As you see OpenStack LBAS service configured the appliance automatically with the blue tenant web server load balancer configuration done on the OpenStack Horizon dashboard. As you see, the VIP 10.100.1.100 on port A80 got configured. Clicking on the pool, it shows blue web pool. And the members are configured with web server dash 1 and 2 IP addresses as blue tenant admin configured on the Horizon dashboard. All this is done dynamically through the LBAS driver on the OpenStack. No manual configuration needed. This also updates BCF and BCF enables segment membership for the load balancer appliance interfaces and also learns WIP. Now as a last step, let me send some HTTP requests to the web server virtual IP from web client to show the load balancing of the HTTP request. I'm on web client and I am generating HTTP requests using curl to virtual IP, which is 10.100.1.100. As you see, the HTTP request being load balanced across the web server 1 and 2, as you can make out from the output. In summary, Big Cloud Fabric and LBAS integration with OpenStack automates both L2 and L3 networking, and also layer 4 through 7 service insertion, such as load balancer. Thank you.